Today we're going to prove why an education is important. And all we need to do is build a bridge across this gap. And the traditional way to do that would be a simple bridge just like that. But we're not here for simple despite the fact we are 27th on the leaderboard. We can always try and build something a little bit more exciting. But our golf cart unfortunately doesn't have a lot of traction. So we'll try a bit of a lower, less aggressive style bridge. And that one might need a little work. And by simply adding a little more structure on this side, it makes it most of the way across very happily. Still not good enough. So I found a smarter way to do this for only $7,400, which is still pretty good. Basically, it looks like this. The trick is I left a little gap at the end. You don't have to connect the road as long as the golf cart gets across. It's not $3,600, but I think it's still pretty good. Next, we've got a lot bigger gap, but we have a central anchor point. So I'm pretty sure we could just use nice, easy triangles to span the gap. So even something as simple and basic as this is probably going to work really nicely, even way under budget. And we definitely beat Blitz, and that's really all that matters. But for curiosity's sake, can we just eliminate all of that and still have this hold up? That might actually work. So there you go, 11,100. Which brings us to the point where we need to get a school bus across a large gap. We do have steel to work with, which is a lot stronger. But that also means we could probably get away with some pretty stupid designs. I've really fallen in love with the idea of floating road in the middle, so the bus has to like jump onto it, but that adds a lot of extra stress. By adding this lower beam, I think we've got enough, so my first bridge to get the bus across cost $24,300, not great. In playing with my more creative side, I've managed to create a bridge that does this. The bus goes all the way up, falls over the edge, doesn't get stuck, does not break the bridge, and makes it to the end. It is more expensive though. But why argue with perfection? We can move on from here. And now we have the most sacred of all creatures on earth, an ambulance. It's probably pretty heavy, so I'm going to find it pretty annoying. And for some reason, right away, this is where my mind goes. Like, I'm pretty sure that center mass basically holds itself up. It just needs a little structure. Like this, I'm pretty sure it will hold itself up until the ambulance touches it, and then it breaks it, of course. So now it's mostly just a process of elimination. Every time something breaks, I replace it with steel. We'll keep doing that until we have a finished bridge, and then we figure out where we need to go. Uh, the ambulance actually crawled out of the end, so we did it so far for 18,400 on a bridge it doesn't actually connect. It's technically not a bridge. I'm also so good at this that I'm actually on the wrong side of the curve. People have done this for $10,000. Okay, but also here's a new design that I straight up stole from the end screen when it shows you what other people did. That works pretty good for 17,400. And even just by moving the steel beam over one notch, we can knock it down to 16,884. And the bridge is actually still quite strong. And then by randomly removing this piece, we've knocked it down to under 16,000 by just a bit. It still breaks, but the ambulance still makes it. This time we have a $50,000 budget to move a very old car across a very big gap. So initially I'm thinking a road like this. Then we add a little bit of steel just for some support as far out as we can reach. For $29,000, here is our first attempt. The car is not very quick, but the bridge actually so far is really, really strong. Did not expect to do so well on the first go. Okay, that was easy. But the reason why is we use way more materials than most of everyone else. Despite the fact we're in a low spot, we're not in a good spot. But actually, that person has the right idea. I never at all even considered the fact you could just make a bridge to here, the car can drive on land, and you build a bridge up. That saves you having to build that much bridge. After looking at the angle of the roads, I see that's probably exactly what you're supposed to do. So let's test our first span of the bridge. This car doesn't seem particularly heavy, so that should be more than enough to help it along. So at two times speed, have we done it yet? We actually have for 23,000, which put us over the average, but I think we could maybe shave a little more off of that. I managed to knock it down to 22, 285 just by lowering the railing on that, but that does put this bridge up to 99% and this one's up to 93%. I also realized we don't see enough bridges with jumps in the middle, so I decided to make one. The bridge also breaks on the way by, so this is what we call a single-use bridge. And this is one of those fun ones where we have to go under a plane. So naturally, I'm just going to see if I can build a bridge that goes over the plane, because that's a lot cooler. It's going to take a little bit of work. It turns out the only part we were missing was a metal rod on the right side, because now the truck actually climbs right up and over. It doesn't do it quickly, but it gets right up over. And it doesn't matter the status of the vehicles on the other side. As long as they touch that flag, we're good to go. Now we've got to go over the boat, and there's no way we're going under it. So we're going to have to do this halfway properly. This is my very first attempt, so I'm quite sure this isn't going to work. That truck's got to be quite heavy, but it was a lot closer than I thought. So I added another little piece of wood over there, and I think that actually made it worse. I mean, if I really want, I could probably just add metal like that, and that's really going to take a lot of the load off over here. And the truck gets to where it's going 12,400 which certainly doesn't put me in the upper echelon here, does it? 
I've decided on a quaint little redesign. I don't know if the boat's actually going to hit that or not. It looks like we cruised under it, 11,200. Then if we just lower everything down, we're down to 10,600 and still 76% bridge capacity. So this thing's really sturdy. I just deleted basically everything here and it still works fine. Like it might have even gotten better. We're at 74% capacity. I split this metal beam into two so I could put wood up to this guy. There's not a lot of structure left in my bridge, but it's just enough to get us across at 92%. That leaves us in the top 27% of like the three people that have played this game, so I'm absolutely average. I've managed to whittle things down in a way so the bridge now looks like this. There's no steel at all anymore. $9,082 which puts us just on the right side of average and I'll take that all day long. Now we're onto the levels where we need to collect a star before moving on to the finish line. So here's where my mind went with this one right away, which is to be fair a pretty good idea, it's just my lower bridge kind of sucks. I'll do my best to reinforce it but I don't have high hopes that this idea is actually going to work. I think this maybe lands in the wrong location. Although to be fair, if you could get the ground here to absorb all the force, then you could drive onto a nice pavement, but I don't know if I'm able to create that but it's sure not going to stop me from trying. But I've gotten away with stupider things before. So we're just going to go ahead and delete all of that altogether. And then it's just a shorter bridge now. The budget's even better. You can really slow this down now so we can really see where it's actually touching down. I see the problem. We built the road above the rock. So what we're looking for is actually something like this where uh, the rock can absorb all of the force and not my poor road. I've been trying for quite a while to get this just right, and we're right on the edge of a breakthrough. I could land down there, but my other bridge still breaks. So we're basically just going to make the triangles bigger until I think I could maybe support the force of this, and we're getting close. And we managed to make it work. All I had to do was adjust the road a little bit. I definitely didn't make the leaderboard on this one, but it looks like a lot of other people actually had the same idea. Whoever did this one is the smartest person on the planet. So they used the rock to absorb like I did and then they placed the uh, road right down on the rock down below. That's really smart. I never thought about using the structure below the water. But now that I know that I have a lot more options to work with. $24,000, all the materials, these two across a real big gap. And of course, they've got a star to collect along the way. And given that I could do this with the steel, I feel like this is going to turn into a pretty easy bridge. We could probably even have it look like something out of Dr. Seuss. I haven't yet tested it out, we're going to zoom in, both vehicles go at once, but this thing actually worked. The budget isn't great, but it's not a great bridge. So I just put a single steel pole on either side, the road is very bumpy so that's moving a lot of force, but you can see we're pretty close again. But I've kind of got a new idea that may or may not work. Lazy attempt number one, is this going to work? I thought this would be cheaper than this. I'm really not good at budgeting things, but the bridge did work for only $17,100. Which actually put us in a pretty reasonable spot, but a lot of people managed to do it very cheaply. I can adjust things a little bit, I've knocked it down to 16300 but for the score that these people have, it needs to be a completely different design. And I might be able to get away with replacing the steel with wood, which is considerably cheaper. We do naturally need a little more of it to uh, get the same strength, but that, well, saved us a little bit of money. We could maybe adjust these further. I can maybe make some adjustments either end, we're at 15,720 on that one, 15,480, 15,317, but I'm just taking a few dollars off at a time, it's not really making a big difference. So let's worry more about getting this mail truck across this gap, and we do actually have ropes and cables to work with. We're supposed to hang cables from up here to support a road across the gap. I like the idea of making a rope bridge a little better. So we just need to copy paste my masterpiece across the gap and then see if this actually has any merit at all. Doesn't look like it. I'm pretty sure there's a way to do that. I just don't remember what it is. Maybe what we can intelligently do instead is something like this where we have each individual piece of road hanging all by itself. It's over budget and probably just a really bad idea in general because, well... You can see for yourself, that doesn't work. Maybe if we actually start to tether them all together though, they'll at least hold their form. Nope, still not strong enough. That does also give me the idea though. Maybe we don't need to use road all the way across. Maybe we can use cheaper wood in little sections to save a little bit of money. And yes, in case you're wondering, this is a very long and time consuming process. But at least now my very expensive money saving build is complete and it may or may not work. <laughs> it doesn't work at all. Well, that's what I get for being creative. So it turns out cables and ropes are really expensive. So we're going to try and bring our rope closer to where the cables and ropes are to hopefully use less of them. I'm really hoping just by adding those two cables, that's enough to distribute the force of what's probably a very heavy truck. This level's going to take a little extra work. So maybe we'll just try it with what a normal person would do first, which is probably just something like that. In any place it breaks, we'll just reinforce, but that actually worked first try. 
and the put is considerably short of average, so we've got a little bit of work to do. My first thought is to try and shorten the cables because they're very expensive. We only use 66% capacity. We didn't save a ton of budget, but that's a step in the right direction. So what about just using rope center? Rope strong enough to hold up an entire bridge and a very heavy truck? We're actually completely fine with that by quite a bit. And that's pretty much what everyone else did because everyone lacks imagination. I might be able to get away with just putting the rope straight down to the bridge as well. That's going to save me a little bit of money. That's not much imagination, but that was a big step in the right direction. From there, I can also just eliminate the boards that were crossing the top. That cuts the budget down again and knocks me down into better territory. I've also learned that you can actually just straight up use wood in place of rope and it's actually a little bit cheaper. So we managed to do this for 21100 and then we can just make the triangles a little bit smaller and the bridge is still perfectly fine. And that keeps tipping our number up. So we've kind of tapered off either end of the arches and that's actually pushing us right into the next zone. Somehow we've ended up top 5 on this one, despite the fact I'm not really taking it very seriously. Well, try as I might for now, I can't seem to get the score any lower with any more clever builds. A smoother road, you'd probably have some success here. I just can't do a smooth road. This time we're building what's called a cable stayed bridge, so I've got to make it all the way across. I'm kind of hoping I can just go something like that and then the bridge is going to hold up. It almost did. Let's go ahead and take another look at what exactly happened. It breaks right about here. I'm just going to replace that with steel for a second to see if that's enough, and that's actually enough to get this whole thing to work. But how is our score overall? not great. To be fair, ropes probably aren't the best way to do this, they're quite expensive. I'm thinking I'm probably better off to just go without the towers at all because I feel like this vehicle can't be that heavy. So that's a big span to cross apparently. Adding a second layer of triangle sure did, so we've got to cross a span, but I'm not sure that was any cheaper than how we did it before. Still in fifth place though, we need to get below 20,000 to make any difference at all which is a pretty big departure from where we're at and we're already struggling to uh, make this design any more better. Yeah, you heard me. I said any more better. It's very late at night and I just don't care anymore. Well, I've managed to tickle the score down to 21,500. And that's just going to be good enough for me because every other attempt ends just like that. It's encouraging us to jump. This is something I can do. And it was already kind enough to warn me that it's better if the ramp doesn't break. I'm also not sure why there's an anchor point over there, but there sure is. For now, we're going to leave it just as is. We're going to put the speed back at the least 0.5 so we can see a it jump. It's still broke, but it almost made it. So we'll just replace that part with steel, and we're so very close. We could just replace that with steel probably, and that would be about enough to do it for only $4,400. Made it. Which actually had us in a decent spot on the leaderboard, apparently. First place is only $4,200. That's only $200 away. And I just moved one little joint, so there's just a little bit less wood. That also worked, 43.85. Which puts us into a firm third place, but I'm pretty sure there's literally been six people that have played this level so far. So now's our time to shine. It's our first and only chance for a first place ever in our life. 42.66, we're in second place. We're out by like 60, 70 dollars. That was another successful jump. We did it. First place, 41.69. We reversed their number. All we had to do was keep adjusting wood. So it was that easy. Well, clearly jumping across large gaps comes naturally to me. I've only got five pieces of road to work with. I'm a little bit optimistic I can do it in less though. This one's proving to be a little bit more challenging than I thought right off the bat. So I'm going to go ahead and use all five of the road pieces. We're probably going to use a steel cable to the end just to make sure that's good and supported. And that's going to look something like that. And we actually made it across the gap, which I didn't expect. Our score, however, not so good. I saw in the gallery someone had a design just like this that seemed to work very well. As soon as I figured out how to support it properly, it might actually be pretty good. I'm just going to mess with things for now to get a working design. That was more than enough, but it certainly wasn't enough to put us on the leaderboard. So we just need to keep playing with things and making them perhaps a bit smoother. Uh, we're still snapping to the grid, which we don't need to do. I feel like the winners in this didn't snap the grid. Okay, I've just removed one section of road altogether because that still jumps across the gap for 6,500. Now we're moving on up, 6th place. And I feel like I could probably whittle it down a little bit from here, but I don't know if this is the right design or not still. I might also try, well we got across there for 6,000, I should try rope instead of steel cable. 5th place though. Oh, and steel cable is all I got to work with, so we might as well just try and push this back as close to that as we can. Or replace that with wood altogether, as we learned wood can make an adequate rope. That actually kind of worked. But we're getting close. There was a notch in between somewhere. Maybe that one. A happy medium, we'll call it. 
And we did it under $5,000. Which gave us a third place for now. We're only $200 away from the top. And we're ever closer, $48.36. That's not top spot, that's second place. We're a few dollars away. This is going to start to get pretty breakable pretty quickly. $47.82, that might be enough to do it. Nope, we're out by like $13. Every time I touch the bridge, it makes just, just enough difference. I move just the minorest thing. Okay, at this point, I've managed to eliminate a whole bunch of pieces of wood that I didn't need. So we're almost making it. We're at $4,200. I've turned off snap to grid just so I could adjust the tip a little bit. So with a little trajectory adjustment, we should be able to cruise right on in there. I'm just going to keep wiggling it until we get there, which actually is right there. So not only do we beat first place, we smash it by $500 or over 10%. I'm making these tiny little micro adjustments. I've got it down to 4,158. I'm sure if I spent enough time, I could get it even lower. I can't wait to see what other kind of stupid things we do. But for now, I'm going to take my two number ones and run. Because as soon as people start to play this, those are gone.